You've read my name in all the papers and how I sound the Keystone Caper. Keystone Kelly is my name. Catching crooks is my game. All right, so today I'm going to be playing some Keystone Capers. Uh, this throwback edition was uh, requested by Corey Andrews. And uh, it was, this was one of, uh, this is a game that I played a lot growing up. Basically, you run through a couple of these stages, uh, these, these stages, these levels. Catch the uh, crook who is uh, trying to escape, and that's pretty much it. But it's just a lot of fun dodging shit. Each time you catch him, you go through another pass, and more shit gets added to the fray. Like right now, it's just kind of me running, it, it, running, and nothing else happening. That ball bounces, and that's more or less. Besides the time. Your only obstacle, but each time, each level, you uh, you get another obstacle thrown into the mix. I remember when I was a kid, my parents bought this game. We went to a, uh, I believe it was a Toys R Us, and we got this game, and we brought it home. We opened up the box and it was Pitfall. And I was like, what the fuck? I had no idea that this even could happen. That you, uh... <laughs> that a cartridge could have been mislabeled. Apparently it's one of those things that was fairly common. So my mom took the game, ran back to the store, and came back with the, uh, with the correct game. I had Pitfall already, so I knew what I was looking at. But it was just weird. I always jump at his head. Every time I... Every time I, uh... I catch him, I always jump at him. So, yeah, we had... I'm gonna try the elevators this time. Oh, and that didn't work out too well. At least I... It's always every time. Every time I decide to go for the... For the elevators, it's, it's always way out of the rotation. I would have been, I would have gotten here faster if I had just ran up the stairs, or the escalators, whatever. And if I would have went up to the third floor, he would have turned around, and then you can't go down unless you go down the elevator, so that would have defeated the whole purpose there. So yeah, first level was just the red balls, then the radios were added to the mix, and now the shopping carts, and I think the airplanes are next. The freaking ones you have, they have to duck underneath the planes. I remember that was a, uh... This is the first one where it starts to, uh... Because you have to stop to duck. You can't just run and jump like you do with the shopping carts. It doesn't take any time away from you. My dad liked this game a lot, too. He wasn't much of a video game player, either, but, uh... I mean, neither of my parents really were. But my dad liked this game. Part of the reason he was a police officer. So, you know, he had a little bit of a bias there with it. But as a kid, you know, it's it's classic cops and robbers. Can't go wrong. And this was another one where I was like, the first time I got to the to the high bouncing red ball, I was like, what the fuck do I do here? I have a tendency not to. Yeah, see, I never. I, I don't. Jumping is not a good idea there. I always duck, but I was like, you know what, I haven't, I don't remember if jumping, if it's possible, I mean, I'm sure there's a way to physically do it, but I know it's easier to project where you're going to be when you, uh, when you just simply duck. Oh, and the planes too, that's the other thing, I think when you get hit by the plane, you not only, it doesn't just slow you down, you lose a whole fucking life, I think you go back to... You lose a life and go back to the start. Ow, that hurt. Oh shit, I'm running out of time here. 
I'm not gonna make it, am I? Yes, I am. Come on, come on. It's gonna be close! Alright, whoop, shit. <laughs> I remember I pointed out in my review, like, why the hell am I picking up baggage? Like, I'm supposed to be catching the perk here. Not stealing shit on my way, but I mean, is I mean, is, is this loot? Is this shit that the criminal is leaving behind? If so, then he sucks. What is happening in this, you know, shopping mall or whatever this is, too, that's causing deadly toy airplanes? Ow, oh, yeah, there it was. I, I overcompensated. I thought that I could outrun it. Well, it wasn't. I tried to duck, but it was like I did it way too late. I thought I was going to mistime that one, too. I don't know if jumping into the escalator actually helps at all. I don't know if it... But I always do it. It's. I know that jumping into the criminal does the absolutely... Uh, absolutely nothing. You're not gaining any more ground on them. But uh, the escalator, I always felt like if I jump into the... Into the escalator, I'm gaining a little bit of time. Just a smidge or two. But I'm not sure if that actually is the case. Maybe what's happening is all of these traps, all of these obstacles are from the burglar. He's, you know, tossing... I could definitely see him kicking shopping carts to, in my direction. That makes logical sense. Maybe the radios he stole, the ball, he's just bouncing. The planes, he's setting off, I, I guess. And while he's doing all this shit, he's accidentally dropping behind some of the shit that he stole, and I'm picking it up. Oh, now the friggin' shopping carts are fast. Everything starts gaining speed. All, all these little obstacles do. I don't remember what the... Um, yeah, see, I mean, we, even though we... I had the game with the manual way back in the day. I still... I didn't read them that much, and I couldn't tell you what the hell uh, it actually said in it. Now, I haven't gone back and looked to see if there was an explanation for all this shit. You know, there's always some kind of wacky uh, explanation or backstory behind why what's happening is happening. And in a lot of these older games, especially, you have to come up with something with a lot of... Uh, I mean, in the, in the games themselves, you know, you have to use imagination a lot of the time because the graphics are, are so uh, minimal. And, uh, and crude that you have no other option, but <clears throat> this is actually, this game is really, uh, has a, a three times, three times I have to duck underneath those damn things. I mean, everything visually about this game is, is really good. All, everything is well-defined. Animation is smooth. It's fun. It holds up well. I mean, there's a lot of Atari games that haven't aged so great. Ouch, that is not, that is not going to be good for business. That's not going to be good for anybody. I think uh, this is around that point of the game where you more or less have to get through unscathed to, uh, to catch the bastard. Unless the elevators are something I really ought to be considering at this point. I got him. That's the one thing about the roof. There's nothing left for him to be throwing at you. I think he ran out of shit to toss in my direction. Oh, Alright, so now we got two... Ah, shit! Two regular bouncing balls. I'm not going to stop for the elevator with all that shit coming my way. Are you kidding me? Whatever time I think I might be saving, I'm just going to lose it by getting smashed with the shopping cart. For sure. I did get an extra life somewhere in there.
Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna... That's not gonna help anything. <clears throat> I really don't like my chances to uh, catch him on this life. Especially with two of these goddamn... Oh, that was it. Alright, here we go. Last life. I'm going for the elevator. Fuck it. Why not? You only live once. Am I gonna miss it? Oh, damn it! Ah, you gotta be shit me. I could not line up. I could not line up. And I'm, I'm getting smashed with the balls. Yeah, forget about it. It's not happening. Maybe there's no shopping carts in the middle of the elevators and I'll... Oh, God, that didn't help. Oh, it's the freaking... Uh, it's the plane. Come on, go up! Ah, fuck it. Oh, I still have one more guy. Alright, so... Alright, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna go straight for him. I'm not gonna bother with the elevators. I'm not gonna fuck around with, uh... Risking it for the biscuit. I'm just gonna go straight... Straight for it. I, I want to say there's gotta be some... Other way to get past those balls besides jumping over them four times like that. Like, that really doesn't... That takes a lot of time. Oh, missed time the shit out of that one. I'm all, like, flustered now. I'm all mentally fucked up. I almost hit a radio just now, I think. I've been hit by everything except for the radios. They're, like, the most stationary... plain-ass... It's funny how they're not the first thing you see, because they are the least threatening. Oh, God. Three seconds. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Oh, God! Damn it! He's right there! He's right fucking there! Oh, if I had just, you know... Can't... Ugh. That is disheartening. If, 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 if I would have just overcame one of those mishaps on that, on that run, I would have gotten him. Ugh. Damn it. Oh well. It was fun revisiting Keystone Capers, one of my favorite childhood games. Uh, if you have any requests for a throwback Thursday, hit me up. Uh, leave a comment, or you can email aqualongamereviews at hotmail.com. See you next time.